I dare you to make out with Harden. Who's Harden? He about to be getting Harden when they kiss. I don't know. Who's Harden? Is he? I thought he was Chico or something. He's more myself than I am. <laughs> You're so pretentious. That has got to be a turn off. Harden? More like Softin. <laughs> I gotta stop. Made a real mess in there. I was celebrating. Dear old dad is getting married. So what? You're in college. Bro, you're in college. Handle your shit. Your dad's getting remarried. Oh no! Having a 12 year old tantrum. Okay. You're such a douche. I'm sorry for how I treated you. <laughs> he delivered that in such an after school special way. I'm sorry for how I treated you. Just going through that at home. I don't deserve you. Oh, fuck. Quit being a sad boy! So we're brothers. Yep. You're quipping the. A... I'll see you two in there. Uh, that guy's infinitely more interesting than Sad Boy. Because I know his motivation. He's just sad. And he's a boy. He's Sad Boy. Can you stop acting? Oh my god. I hate you. I hate you. If he was 14, I could justify his behavior. But he's at least 19. Maybe 20 or 21. Clearly. I don't need your drama. It doesn't change what happened. Sad boy, shut the fuck up. I want to hear Sandy Cohen speak. I tried to fight them off, but I couldn't. Yeah, you were eight, you little weak, eight-year-old bitch. I don't suppose you recall any of those passages. He wasn't even listening. I told him. I told him, Sandy, I wanted to listen, but he wouldn't. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. That was his grand plan. It was just to turn in a paper that he assumes she'll never see. You have no strategy, dog. You don't deserve this. I hope a crocodile just, you know? And he's in the rain sad too. This is perfect. Yeah, fingers through your hair. You sad boy. You need to start making more of an effort, bro, if you want to win her back. Just sitting in your room listening to music? Chase her. Go to her hometown. Show her you care. Oh no, waiting. Look at books in your room. That'll probably get her back. How are, bruh, she's out here doing things. You're still in your room. She's out here going through days and weeks and he's still in his room. Oh, now you're on the roof. Six feet outside of your room. <laughs> I'm glad you're sad, you punk bitch. Oh, what a badass. He's got flowers on a barbed wire fence. It's like he's sensitive, but he's tough. But if you can get past the tough exterior, he's got the sensitivity. Like, oh, want me to steal your boyfriends? Uh, I can totally do that, because I'm so hot and sexy. Tessa, where are you? <laughs> where are you? Tessa! What? He's so needy. He's, I hate him. From kissing that guy to- What? What? You said kissing you that- You kissed another guy? After I betrayed you? How dare you? Who did you kiss? No one! Yeah, well, when you were kissing that guy, I was fucking Molly. He's so toxic. Like, I thought Harden was attractive in the first one, but I feel like some of the the attractiveness is gone in this movie. Just because I, he's so low and needy and desperate. And like, I don't know, it just tanks his overall appearance a little bit. I'm not cheering for him at all anymore. It's too toxic and he's no longer attractive enough to overcome all the toxicity. I know, I fucked up, I know! Look at him, he's sweaty, he's unhinged. Are females finding him attractive? I think that's a huge mistake. And maybe just because I'm a guy and I'm looking at it from a different perspective than girls might, but I feel like he's no longer attractive as a male lead. Like, they have really brought him low. And that's not attractive to look at. She was so excited when I told her first, I couldn't ruin it. I hate how he speaks even. That's how he speaks every line. She was so excited she when I told her first, I couldn't ruin it. I hate Harden so much. Until the nightmares went away. When he started seeing you. Oh, let me vomit now. She's like a magic little pill. She's his cure. Why does your mom hate him so much? Because he's a piece of shit. He lied to me. A big lie? Massive lie. <sighs> what are you two gabbing on about? God, just like past assaults and you lying to her about your entire relationship. Nothing big. Just breakfast chatter. What's my perfect day? Well, that's for you to decide. That's his gift to her. He got her, uh, I'll do whatever you want. That's worse than the Kindle. It requires no effort and no planning. It, it requires literally nothing out of you. No thought and effort. He just had to buy a card and said like, I'll do whatever you want today and just toss it at her face. He's so, oh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. I will agree to without any snide remarks or tantrums. He agreed to not give her grief 
on her birthday. What a gentleman. What a perfect guy. I'll do anything you want to do today, except the two things that you want to do. I'm going to convince you to not do them so we can go back and have sex. My hatred for Harden is off the chart. There's no one else for me, Tessa. No one. You're what, 19? You're 19, you know that for sure. Oh god, here comes the 14 year old boy, little Mr. Pouty bitch. I'm going for a walk. Don't break that lamp. Oh, okay, good. Harden. He's so pathetic. I understand you care about him, but he's too pathetic. Is it true that you're a whore? Oh, oh shit. shit. That's not really that bad. Are you a whore? Harden's such a douchebag. Stop breaking shit. Be an adult. You're not ready for a relationship. I I do hate Harden so much. I hate how that actor delivers the lines too. Everything just comes out so weeny. <laughs> she just want to punch him. I don't know why I'm just so anti-British. I think British people are better, to be honest. But I think Harden just ruined everything for me. Because now I'm changing my opinion. Now I think Americans are better. Not only is this vodka and Mountain Dew Code Red one of my favorite drinks, but I'm also drinking out of a Harden mug. So, just getting excited for the final after movie that's coming out. I sat down thinking that the uh, the final after movie was out. Apparently it's going to theaters first, before coming to streaming. Made me start to think, there are people who are gonna go pay money at a theater for a theater experience to watch Harden on a big screen. When I see Harden on a small screen, I get angry. If I if he's big, I don't know. I feel like my my rage would also escalate with his size. It's probably a blessing in disguise that that the after movie's not out yet. It gives me a little bit more time. I have a feeling that when I watch that movie, I'm gonna go insane. So I have a little bit of time with my sanity left. That's nice. God, if I knew you were destined to date someone like Harden, I would probably leave my child as well. Like if I could look into the crystal ball and see that's that's what's in store for my daughter, I'm not sticking around. <laughs> Actually, it's probably because he left that she's attracted to him. He fucked this girl up so bad that Harden was able to enter her life. Cause a girl with a healthy mind doesn't date Harden. Sent you gifts, every birthday. Oh, what, are you gonna ju Why, he's pouting already. We are two minutes into this film and Harden is pouting aggressively. If I knew this was the last time I'd ever have to see this goddamn character pout, I would be fine. But now that I know there's a fourth one, I got two more hours of pouting in the future that I just have to think about for the next fucking year and a half. Every day I'm gonna wake up and be like, I got that coming up. I got that I got that commentary coming up where I gotta watch fucking Hard and Pout for two hours again. I'm so, I'm, let me just get all this out now and just, Ugh, I hate you Harden. All right, my reservoirs have now emptied. I can now start filling them back up with more hatred. The prodigal father has returned. And he's still drinking. Can you excuse us for a second? That's such a dick thing. Oh, he's so toxic. He wants to drive a wedge between her and her father. Just support her, all right? Don't just give him grief, because this is gonna make it harder on her. Have any time for anything like friends? Fa Why? I'm not the only one, right? Look at his face as he approaches. He hates her interacting with anybody, even his stepbrother. He is the definition of toxic. He wants to cut her off from everyone in her life, so that she she has only him to rely on, so that she'll never leave him. Look at his face. Look at him. Look at him. This. <laughs> Is there something you want to tell me or should I ask Landon because he seems to know a hell of a lot more than I do. You ever see the main character, the girl? Her face just drops every time he comes around. Like she's having a good time, she's talking to her dad, he says some shit, puts her in a bad mood. She's talking to her friend, he comes around, puts her in a bad mood. <laughs> girl, you gotta leave this man. What? You mean what? This job's a huge opportunity for me. Does he have a career path? I was hoping that we could move to London after graduation. For what? What do you do? What is... What is he studying? You've envisioned your life in a way that doesn't even have me in it. You are in Oh my god. What a little whiner. And we do need to talk about this, except I have to get to class, so... If he said, oh god, if he says something about, oh, class is so much more important than me, huh? I will call him the ultimate bitch. Oh, that's, that's really big of you. To find time in your busy schedule, thank you. You ultimate bitch! <laughs> I wish Harden was just kind of guy who was just, he just, you know, got in fights and was like, you know what it is, what it is. I take responsibility, you know, like an adult would. But instead he's like, this guy started it, your dad said this, and this guy said this about you, and then he can't. Dog. I punched a guy in the face. It happened. Things escalated. If you take ownership of it, it would be so much more attractive. Mr. Pass the blame around. This is why you got fucking problems, bro. Take some goddamn responsibilities. But I don't. I don't have anything there. You'd have You don't have anything here! What do you do? What are your hobbies? What are your interests? You have nothing. When's the last time you saw him hang out with his friends? <gasps> He's pissed! 
He's pissed that her dad ate his cereal. I was just messing around before saying that. He's been dying to spend more time with Harden. <laughs> I said no one ever. Oh, you know that Harden guy? I'd love to spend more time with him. No one. How about we whip you up something special? Dick. What a dick. Can I get you anything or do you need a minute? Yeah, you can come back. Oh, treating wait staff bad? Mm -mm. You can come back, fucking peasant. I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. I'm gonna lose my job. If I'm the waiter, never fuck with someone who brings you food. Because they're gonna spit in your shit. Oh, Harden, I could just tell Harden has eaten so much spit in his life just from being a dick to people at restaurants. Did you ever have feelings for him? That's two questions. Yes, be honest. Oh, he's so desperate. There was a moment when... Seriously? Am I wrong? Th they broke up because Harden basically bet his friends that he could take her virginity. And then she found out and she was like, yeah, we can't be together. And now she just admitted that she had feelings for someone else who was super kind to her. And he just acts like a little fucking boy. He's such a little boy. He's a child. I don't, I don't think the part hairstyle works for him. As someone who rocks the part hairstyle. Like, I, you gotta have a certain face for it. He doesn't have the face. He looked better in the first, what was he doing with the, in the first film? Yeah, just the, like this nice short hairstyle. Like he rocked that really well, that, that suits his face. This is the important stuff that we're, we cover here on this channel. Oh, she's so having a nightmare. That's <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Oh God, even in his dreams, he's like this needy possessive asshole. How dare, I bet he calls her like, how dare you in my dreams sleep with this guy? We shouldn't keep him waiting. <laughs> He's low-key punishing her for his dream. <laughs> he was just like another level of possessive. Some shit went down. They would choose Harden. That's the problem. She's surrounding herself with a bunch of Harden supporters. <laughs> if you ever find yourself surrounded by Harden supporters, you've messed up. Like, you're in the wrong place. Is he in a mood? Of course. He's Harden. Yes, he is. He literally came to visit her. And within like 10 minutes of arriving, he's in a mood and ignoring her. He turned cold shoulder to her. Why? Because he dreamed she was cheating on him. I can't help but think that you should be with someone else. I mean, you're just saying what everyone's thinking. Your life would be so much easier. Yeah, and better. She'd be happier for sure. Why didn't you just tell me? Because it's a burden for me and I don't want to burden you. But you are though. You're just ignoring her. Even when Harden tries to do something good, he's doing something bad. <laughs> I'm staying uh, next door at Mike's. Okay. Jesus Christ. Hey, give me a sec. He's in a mood already. He was just teasing Tessa a second ago. As soon as he entered the house, he's already in a mood. How do you deal with this man? Like his own mother. He just treats her poorly. She's getting married. You came to visit her. You're just seeing her. You can't treat your mom well? He shows he's just so disrespectful towards his parents, towards wait staff. He's just an asshole. What? Okay, what is he gonna get angry at now? But the thermostat is 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 not cold enough for you, so you're gonna whine. <laughs> I can't take a, a breakdown of his. Uh, seriously, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I just I, this brings me so much joy. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> Suffer. Oh, cry, you little baby boy. Cry. Now it's not the time, but that's a very boring suit. He doesn't look good in all black. He needs a little bit of color. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Hero, and I am so excited to finally share some massive news with you all. We have just wrapped filming on the fifth of the movie. I can't tell you too much about it just yet, but I can tell you that it will be called After Everything, and I cannot wait for you all to see it. When will my suffering end? Harden. First scene. First scene Harden's in, in this movie. He's depressed and angry like a child. Ah. <laughs> my entire fucking life could have been different if you weren't such a fucking coward. Ah! Suffered. Basically, what he just said is that they never told Harden's not dad that he wasn't the actual dad. But because he was suspicious that the people around him were just lying to him, he started drinking to cope. <laughs> so his dad became an alcoholic, and then he took it out on Harden. <laughs> it's actually kind of sad if uh, this is a real story, but it's not. It's a fan fiction. And they say, like, you gotta watch for these performances. The performances that the actors are giving are so good. I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me this is a good performance. Are we ready? <laughs> That's Harden right there. I just did a Harden. She doesn't want you here. You have no fucking idea what she wants. You <laughs> That's rich coming from him. You are a nightmare. After Sands, again, how? How do you root for this guy at all, ever? He's got problems, I get it. 
we're all kind of dealing with something in life. Some people deal with a lot, some people deal with a little bit. You can't externalize it the way Harder does, taking it out on everybody else. You should know your opinion means fuck all to me. And I mean that. This is how he treats Tess's mom. How after his dance, how do you look at this and be like, yeah, this is the man of my dreams right here. I want good things to happen to this guy right here. It's one thing to say, I love your daughter. It will not be stopped by your disapproval of me. It's a completely whole different thing to say, your opinion means fuck all to me. Fuck you, bitch, is what he said. I cut it out, but he definitely said that. Trust me, don't watch the movie. He said that, he said, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> oh, and then also, 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 Harden doesn't want credit, right? Keep that between us. I don't want people to know I paid for the funeral. And then Tess is gonna find out. I don't want you to find out. I'm so sorry, Tessa, but your father, I should have been there. And then she's gonna forgive him, and then we're gonna have a fifth fucking movie. I'm so sorry it took something like this for me to realize how much you mean to me. <laughs> He's gonna use her dad's death as his, this was a wake-up call for me. I'm gonna be here for you now. That's a little scummy, isn't it? Isn't it? Even if it's true, you don't use that as leverage to try to get back into her life. That is, ooh, that's ultra scummy. I'm into it. <laughs> I want to be there for you. Didn't she just say she was done with him like five minutes ago in screen time? Oh, so I hate that Harden paid for the funeral. Harden doesn't make money. He, j he just inherits money. It's not even his money. I hate that that was used as like a good deed or a, a check mark for a good Harden. I don't want anything from you anymore. I don't believe you. We love a toxic guy who forces himself into her life. Go get her, Harden! I'm sure this time you've got it. You won't ruin it again. I'm sure of it. I was actually, I was thinking. Yeah, see, she found out life-changing information. Like, she can't get pregnant. She found this out, and Harden's like, it's about him. I want, maybe go supportive mode. Work with Landon. London. He's Don't... supposed to be my fucking brother. It's not like that. It's <laughs> not, hey. <laughs> gonna... Harden can't control his emotions whatsoever. He's five inside. He's five years old. Completely ruins everyone's night. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! You think the actor ever watches? He's ever seen my videos? You ever think he watches my commentary for after? He probably hates the shit out of me. <laughs> I haven't been fucked in five months, Teresa. You are pushing every ounce of my self-control. What? what is that? It was the fool when he met her. It was the fool. I, I'm not gonna get on him with, about his accent because we've done that before, but it's just not right. Something's not right about his accent. Apparently that's his real accent, but something's not. <laughs> Listen, did he write a whole, he didn't write a book, right? How long have you been writing about us? After we kissed. Like the first time? Oh, that's creepy. Are you fucking kidding me? That's really weird. Like it's not a journal. That's like a whole book. You would never let me read what you were writing and now the whole world gets to. Stuff about me, stuff about my dad. Wait, the whole world? Is he publishing that? Listen, bro, you can't just write stuff that happens to you as a book. You gotta write fictional stuff, all right? And it's hard. Sometimes it takes years and years and more years. Okay? You wouldn't understand. You accidentally wrote a book. He accidentally, fuck you, bro. Some of us are purposely trying to write a book and not able to do it. So don't just rub it in our faces that you accidentally wrote a book. There's a bidding war for my book. <laughs> Fuck and you. That's why I'm in town. Fuck you. He wrote a hot book that everyone wants to read. This film is just a giant middle finger to me. I hated myself. Hey, me too. I hated you too. <laughs> He's an author. Fuck you. Oh, I hate him so much. Look at my published book. Love you guys, unless your name's Harden, fuck you then. It's not self-seeking and it keeps- You know what's funny is I'm listening to Harden right now and I'm not even getting upset. Maybe it's because I can't see his face. When I see his face, I get angry. It always protects. Oh, fuck. Ooh! Sorry, sorry, it's his wedding day. Never meant for it to be published. <laughs> he accidentally published a book. Just like, strike 18 for him. He accidentally published his private journal. Ha! Huh. You accidentally wrote a book and then- That's what I say at this episode. What is the point in everything we've been through if we can't channel that into something that helps people? <laughs> that was his excuse? <laughs> like this book- Hey, I know I'm gonna make a bunch of money from this, but I'm not here to make money. I'm here to help the world by telling everybody the secret story of us. But I guess if people were willing to pay me, it would be disrespectful to refuse. Look at you. <laughs> Ooh, one, two. Papa. Well, like when he's with Tessa, he said, when he's without Tessa, he said. When he has no money, he said. When he has money, he said. Maybe, Harden, it's not about Tessa. Maybe it's about you. Meeting with the parents. Jesus Christ. This should be fun. Just the hour late then. I'm here now. What a 
douche. He's an hour late, and the first thing he says is something so, like, petulant. Ugh, great. I have to be with you guys. <laughs> oh, I, I... How do you not get punched more often? I don't know how this guy does not have, like, just a constantly bruised face. What does Harden need? I actually think Harden needs to get the shit beat out of him. I've joked about punching him. I think he actually needs to get his ass pummeled. I think that would help him. Have we seen him get his ass beat? I don't think we have. I think, like, a, just a nice, violent ass whooping. And in the future... If I have kids, CPS, I'm not endorsed. I would never. I would never. Okay? This is not evidence. I'm just saying sometimes kids need a good beating. Again. Not, not me. <laughs> click, click, click. Oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> this pain is so fun for me. Way to find you. Please. <laughs> Although it does bring me joy to watch him get rejected again. <laughs> What's one of your books? It's called After. I've read that. Harry Styles should pay you. Thank you. Did I just fucking hear what I thought I heard? I had to make a movie. Harry Styles should pay you. Thank you. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill Harden. Just fucking with you. Shark? Shark? Shark! Oh. Tessa flashback. Cringe. Homie. We just- We just did the thing and I was just praising you for like making the leap. And it's like, hey, I'm, 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 I'm better now. You know, I'm getting better. That was nice. But it also felt like you were getting over her. And now you're, you're doing the opposite. And I'm definitely not a smoothie person, but thank you. He's already, like, you gotta feel bad being around him. It seems like he doesn't want to be there. She bought him a smoothie for the morning. And he, he's just already like, and every sentence feels like he's about to eye roll at you. It, uh, like, being around him has got to be such a drain. What about the aesthetic, isn't it? Holier than thou wellness cult kind of thing. Just let people enjoy things, man. She bought you a drink, and you're like, oh, everyone just does this for the aesthetic of it. <laughs> so lame. You're such an edgy boy, Harden, huh? Look at you calling out all the, the things of the world, huh? Look at that, look at that thing. <laughs> lame, not like me. Shut up. What's the main sheet? Sorry, the red one. Hold Why are you pissy? You're on a boat in a beautiful country with a gorgeous girl. You came to this country. To literally make it up to her. The horrible things you've done to her. She had to flee her country to get away from all the garbage you put her through. And then you come here to be pissy with her on a boat? After she did nothing to you? She just bought you a drink? In the world for long enough, eventually. It is also funny that when he does talk to her, he talks about himself. And every time she talks to him, she asks about him. <laughs> or gives him something. Like she just gave him a water. She gave him a drink before. She gave him a drink before. In the bar. <laughs> He's a parasite. He just keeps leeching off people. You didn't ask her permission to write it. I really thought that sharing our story would... Help people? Help people this... <laughs> it's not nice being exposed without your consent. Ooh, that touches a nerve for her, huh? Are you gonna apologize to her now? We're actually looking her in the eye? Nope, okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Duel! Let's go! I respect the heart and he's like, hey, come on, let's do it. Respect him for that. Oh! Yeah, I told you! He needed this. This is good for him. Yeah, couple more, couple more. Get him like a couple in the face. Welcome to the OC, bitch! <laughs> he got arrested. <laughs> oh, good. Look at that. Let me see that face. Let me see that face. Guess I'm an overachiever. Is he ever gonna learn a lesson? You hoped. You hoped that I was finally fucking someone new. I just need, I didn't pause to say something, I paused for me. I need a moment. Just Harden gets bailed out. This man flies across the world, bail him out. He's being surprisingly nice and polite and Harden is just pissy and I need a moment. God, you can twist things around, can't you? Poor Harden. The miserable, drunk little victim sitting at home. Yeah! I mean, I, I'm surprised that you're not even embarrassed by yourself. Yeah! <laughs> it's pathetic. Favorite character. He's my favorite character. 15 minutes left of this movie. 15 minutes left of after. And he's still wandering around dejected. The same place he's always been. And that's just who he is. And maybe it's on us for not accepting him. Maybe it's our fault for not just seeing him as he was. No, I take that back. This is a movie. The goal of following characters is to see their journey. Is to see their growth. And he has gone no way. We invested 10 hours of our time into Harden, and Harden is the exact same as he began. Except now he has a book. Two books! In fact, 
You look well, handsome, very hot. You are always the most beautiful woman in the room. Oh my god, can you ease in? I owe you an apology. Ah, uh, here we go. I never meant to publicly embarrass you. Reject him, please, please. What a weird movie. For this to be a Harden-centric movie, I feel like he did not grow almost at all. Maybe a little bit. But to, he got a whole movie. A whole one for himself. He stopped drinking. He's done that before. So that's not like a new progression for him. He's still hung up on Tessa, relying on her for his happiness. He got a whole movie and nothing is different. Two will never know how lucky you are to spend the rest of your lives with the other half of your soul. Until you've had to spend your life without them. <laughs> Look at his fucking face. Look at his face. Does it not just piss you off? Like make the speech about them. Don't make this speech about you and Tessa. I'll never know how lucky you are. It's like he's pissed off saying it. There's no joy to Harden as a character. I get he's a traumatic childhood, but we've had 10 hours to flush it out. Nora, you've made an excellent choice with this. Thanks. Nice. It's your day, and he made a speech for himself and Tessa. Harden's really growing, guys. He took someone else's thing and made it about him. I just had, I, for, it's been minutes. I've had to watch Harden's O face. It's been about two minutes. This, I'll, I'll show you on screen. This is his face. I had to look at this face for two minutes to end my after experience. You know what? This entire series has been a punishment. It's fitting. I'm gonna put all these videos in a playlist. One day, after I've long lost my rage, I can go back like a time capsule and watch these commentaries. <laughs> and again, enjoy them. No more looking at this face anymore.